In this video, I'll show you how to create amazing product photography like this using open source and free AI tools. Let's create an advertising visual for an energy drink brand using Stable Diffusion Excel and Comfy UI. You can use any other web UI for Stable Diffusion if you want. I prefer using Comfy UI because it's more comfortable. <laughs> Anyways, for the positive prompt, we'll write advertising style photography. So that's kind of the prefix of our prompt. So it will tell Stable Diffusion that we are trying to create something that looks like a advertising style photography. Then I will add the subject, a can of energy drink, maybe red and blue in color. Then we'll describe what kind of effects we want in this. So I will add energy waves and electricity. After that, I'll describe the background. So I'll write a futuristic city style set in the background. Finally, studio lighting and highly detailed. In the negative prompt section, I will write keywords to tell Stable Diffusion what I don't want in my Stable Diffusion Excel generation. So I'll write low resolution, low quality, text, watermark, blurry. And you can add more keywords here if you want, but I recommend starting with a few keywords and then if you need to, then add more keywords. I'll keep everything else the same. For the image size, I'm keeping it at 1024 by 1024 because I'm using SDXL. This is the refiner model that I'm using. This is the base model. These are both SDXL. These are the SDXL 1.0 base and refiner models. Next, we have the samplers. I'm keeping the seed at random. For steps, I'm using 30 steps, CFG scale seven, and sampler, I'm using DPMPP 2S Ancestral. Sometimes you might not get the results you're looking for. In that case, I recommend experimenting with the steps, the CFG scale, and the sampling method. All right, let's render this. Let's try something a little bit simpler this time. So what I'll do, I'll remove the subject and the background from my prompt. So this time, let's try an expensive watch brand. So I'll write, a beautiful watch, studio style, elegant set in the background. Then studio lighting, highly detailed, and I kept the negative prompt the same. Now let's try some food photography. So we'll do a tub of ice cream this time. So I will keep the advertising style photography prefix here in the prompt and then remove the subject and the background and then edit it and then add the details for the kind of visual I'm trying to create. A tub of strawberry ice cream plastic box premium packaging maybe milk and strawberry splash um, out of focus winter wonderland in the background and studio lighting highly detailed i'll keep everything else the same and hit q prompt i hope this was helpful let me know if you have any questions and follow me for more tutorials on generative ai